Hi, I just came back from the UK where I spent a few days on a wonderful trip. It was my first plane ride in I think about two years, so everything was a bit exciting, but it was also very exciting that I could shop the UK shops again. And in this video, I want to show you everything that I picked up. Over on Instagram, I have saved all the stories that I did during this trip in a highlight. So definitely check out the links that I pop below. I have also a vlog. I just have to see sort of what I can work with and if it's going to be a 20, 30 minute chatty vlog or maybe something that I put to music. But in the meantime, definitely check out all the stories that I did. I did already actually film this video back in my hotel in Birmingham unfortunately the sound was terrible so I am going to use some of the up close shots to get sort of vacation vibes travel style but other than that I'm going to show you everything in this video I did not just return from the UK with things I purchased but also things I kindly asked for so when I was in different shops or for instance in my hotel I could just look around and pick up any cute fly that was there or for instance shopping malls usually have a uh, map of all the different stores and biggest shout out to paper chase when I was shopping there I asked for you know a business card or a flyer or something and while the ladies did sort of first look at me like just buy anything from the store they did understand when I explained that I wanted it for my travel scrapbook and they were just so enthusiastic that they actually gave me some stickers and what is really funny is that I actually purchased these stickers years ago so the stickers are from these cute little unicorns and yeah i stuck some things on the back of here but aren't they just the most adorable to use in my travel journal and it was just so kind of the ladies to sort of get so excited with me about the possibility of a travel scrapbook and it was just so lovely of them to give this to me starting off with the sort of least interesting item is some stuff that i picked up while i was traveling back which is this grazia magazine i always love a good sort of glossy magazine and this one caught my eye and also i felt that i could not leave the uk with picking up some cadbury so i got the dairy milk buttons and the white buttons these are both giant edition and while i do prefer the milky bar buttons i thought i do need this in my life so I'll still have a bit of uk while i'm back here in delft this next thing is slightly weird as i wasn't in london i spent time in newcastle sunderland york leeds and birmingham but while i was at accessorize i saw this cute little pin from the new London range. I love the colors that they use. The diagonal stripes are very cute. And I thought for next time I'm in London, I at least will already have this pin. More London related stuff was actually found in the York outlet where there was a Kath Kidston. I'm super sad that they left the sort of high streets and you can only find them in very few locations or online. But in York, they did still have a shop where I picked up this little tin. It was marked down to seven pounds and now currently it is empty. But in there were some lovely hand cream and a lip balm. And yes, I already have more than enough cat kits and toiletry stuff from their two advents that I did, the one in 2020 and the one in 2021. But this is their London tea cream with um, bergamot and jasmine and amber. And this lippy is with mint and sweet basil. And they are both some of my favorite scents. So I thought, let's grab this, let's grab this, and then, you know, happy me. The cute tin and the hand cream and lip balm. I also came home with a few mugs. First mug is this Ray Dunn mug. It actually came with the top, but it's somewhere between my suitcase stuff. This one says chill. It is by Ray Dunn. And the lovely Sophie, whom I stayed with, gave me this. She is one of the biggest Radon fans I know, so to be allowed to share in her collection is wonderful. Thank you so much, Sophie. The cutest Radon mug with chill on there. Then at Wilco, I actually spotted this mug. It was only £1.50. And as it says, a cup of positivity tea get it i thought i i needed the color gray really grabbed my attention and also the green red blue and yellow on here it has a slightly sort of retro vibe that i really enjoyed also the sizing is nice it fits well in your hand and i thought i could also do with a little bit of positivity my new cup of positivity then already slightly sneaking into Kate Spade New York territory, I picked up this tumbler from the Birmingham store. It is an insulated tumbler with this cute print with Kate Spade New York, Kate Spade New York all around in fun colors. 
I really enjoy having these in my fridge ready to go with water. The one that I have from Kate Spade is I think already from 2019. I have one from the Happy Planner from 2020. That one has basically lost all of its prints so I'm really sad to have to throw that out but at least I'll have this one to sort of make things slightly better again. There is a straw with this tumbler as well. It's somewhere in my travel stuff, but um, yeah, I just need to find it. I saw it this morning, but I didn't put it together again. I took the straw out because I didn't want it to sort of bend too far in my suitcase. The Kate Spade tumbler with the print on there. And yes, more Kate Spade coming in a bit. The thing I may be the most excited about was actually something that I picked up on my first full day in the UK in, I want to say, the third shop I was in. I really enjoy going into John Lewis as they have a few of their sort of own brands that really match my style and match my vibe and aesthetic and also my body type. And John Lewis did not disappoint. I got this blue dress. I will include some pics of me wearing it because it's slightly too big to show on the screen. It is blue. It is sweatshirt material. It has pockets. It is super long on me and I'm, you know, six feet, one meter, 81 centimeters. It is just divine. And it was really lovely that the ladies of the fitting room were sort of hyping me up like, you better get this dress. You look gorgeous. So that was really fun. And what was really amazing is that I found this on a clearance rack and it was actually marked down from 65 pounds to only 19. 19 pounds, I mean, properly chuffed with this. I will link the John Lewis brand Kin down below if you want to take a look. So I just saw this dress, it's by Kin, it's on the sale section and it's dark blue and I shouldn't really. It's 19 pounds. I'm gonna try this on. 19, it has pockets. It has, they're difficult to find when you're not wearing it, but it has pockets. I mean, I should, I'm gonna try it on gonna try it on right now I am obsessed it's so the lighting isn't the best but it's blue it has pockets yeah <laughs> and it is fabulous I'm so excited we're gonna go to books I just love reading English books I barely read Dutch books slightly unfortunate but hey ho and what I also really like about the UK is that they allow discount on books so one of my favorite places to buy books from in the UK is from the works where they usually do two pounds a book or three for five and I was able to pick up some beauties in this sort of special deal when shopping at the works I just usually look at cute covers yes i am shallow like that as sort of the generic new adult young adult romance novels are you know you just pick the cute covers then look it up on goodreads and buy them so in this first sort of set i got a wedding on the riviera the handover and stuck on you and yes i did say in the first round because later that day i actually came across another bookshop it's I don't think it was part of a chain, maybe it was, because they also had two pounds per book or three for five pounds. And I thought, let me have a cheeky look. And I actually picked up three more books, which are Someone Like You, which yes, I only got because there's an historic house on the front. Also Our Story, I think I already have this in ebook, but I do still prefer reading the physical book. And No Filter, which doesn't have the nicest front, but it's about um, blogging and social media and I do really enjoy reading those kinds of books. Someone like you, our stop, no filter, the handover, a wedding on the Riviera and stuck on you. And in this specific bookstore, they did all kinds of books and I suddenly spotted this book. This is Prosecco Made Me Do It. It's like a little recipe book. It was only two pounds, can you believe it? And Funnily enough, I saw this in, I think, Mechelen when I was in Belgium in the summer of 2021. And it was in this sort of anthropology-like shop, lovely, would recommend. But it was around 16 euros, maybe even 19. And when I saw it for two pounds, I was like, you're coming home with me. But then sort of unfortunately, it turned out that there were a few more in this series. So I also took home with me, Rosé made me do it. And then when I was at the till and I asked the lady for more sort of editions and she said, well, we have this one as well. I thought, you know, for two pounds, I'm happy to drink tequila. I'm not the biggest tequila fan. 
and they also have this one with winter warmers different cocktails for autumn and winter and then quite unfortunate not in the same sort of style but almost they also had this ciderology book again two pounds like so many cute stuff for 10 pounds in total i'm just a bit sad as you can tell that this one is quite a bit bigger than the rest but i still felt it was worth the purchase it was just not really maybe worth the wait but also still worth it so it's fine here a close-up of prosecco made me do it rosé made me do it tequila made me do it then the winter warmers and the ciderology moving into planner and stationary territory with some more kate spade when i was in newcastle i first actually visited the metro center a lot shopping center there and i found this and this in the big tk max slash home sets love it these were both on clearance so this is a cute little notepad for only two pounds fifty and this little sort of wallet or a pen case was only four pounds slightly unfortunate there should be more in here than is actually in there a pen should be in here but it either fell out or it was taken out which is sad but still the case is very cute also in there was this cute ruler that in theory i am able to snap into my planner my marsha planner probably also always yay for cute little page markers more page markers but then of the sticky note variety and there was a little tag in there which is perfect because this is going to go in my memory journal the kate spade note paper in lilac the little kate spade pen case with content a planner girl visit to the uk is of course not complete without visiting paper chase i picked up these adorable metal paper clips from there they say playful happy calm creative curious and there's a sticker over it strong and as you can tell from the sticker they were 30 percent off and i thought need this in my life the paper clips from paper chase also i managed to come home with a planner i was at the range and i saw this planner by jolie or jolier not sure the cover is exceptionally cute with this sort of adventure journal the inside is slightly more generic there are some stickers in there love that but then you go to sort of the tabbed section where there are different sections where you can put information in so for instance your itinerary and some notes you want to make about your trip so while the cover did sort of promise more than the inside i felt like the four pounds this was sold for was more than worth it my travel planner from the range it's actually by jolie or jolier adventure journal more planner stuff i was actually looking towards getting more reusable sticker albums which i have actually done a series on which i'll link up above and down below and then while i was chatting with sophie about this she told me that she still had a reusable sticker album at home that she wasn't using this one is from ali beth designs uk and i'm super super chuffed that sophie gave it to me and i can continue with my reusable sticker album project thank you so much sophie my new reusable sticker album i actually had something sent to sophie while i was there and it is this home time journals by the lovely hannah i'll put her details down below this is a creative journal to get to know or record memories of your hometown and it is a lovely designed book i don't want to crease things too bad with all these different sort of prompts where you can fill in all kinds of things about your hometown and i'm just really excited to use this i will show some more on my instagram i will use it as well and sort of show you my progress there and definitely leave down a comment below if you want a more in-depth video about this journal the adorable hometown journal by hannah with a sort of quick look inside i have already teased some of the kate spade stuff but we're finally here i was actually lucky enough to visit four shops and maybe i totally planned it but i visited two boutiques and two outlet stores i went to york leeds cannock and then birmingham and the welcome i got in york and birmingham and cannock were just absolutely amazing thank you so much to all the ladies who took time to chat with me and make me feel welcome and advise me on different things it was such a fun experience to shop with you especially charlie from the canic store thank you very much for all the lovely chats i was able to book a personal shopping appointment 
appointment with her and it was so fun and I am so happy to show you what I bought. First up in York, I actually purchased this keychain. It's from their new sort of travel range and I really like that there's also a bag that you can buy with this one. So the keychain is actually sort of functional in the sense that you can put for instance some money in there and it was just so cute and too cute to not get the kate spade keychain that actually opens up as well adorable in Canuck, i got some smaller bits and also something slightly larger these cute little bracelets were just so fun and i like the I don't want to say understated because they're still quite sort of big and um, colorful but I do like the sort of strappy ribbon thing and then a cute little charm on there and I really enjoy yeah I really enjoy wearing various bracelets so I'm quite sure that this one will actually look very nice with the rest of them. I also picked up another set. It's somewhere with the rest of my stuff. Well, you will see it in the other clips that I filmed. The two sets of bracelets with the little sort of charm on there. And then I got a bag. I've already sneaked this on my Instagram in a sense of, well, not really sneaking it. So hashtag teaserlotta. But I got a bag and I'm very excited to unbox it in this video. And then I think I should do like this and say, leave a comment down below now to guess which bag I got, which will be super mean. But if you do want to leave a comment, that will be fun. And then I'll feel like a proper bag unboxing person. So without further ado, I got a bag and it's in this cute pink dust bag. And if you know, then a dust bag actually means that this is a boutique bag and not a outlet bag, which means that the material is nicer, the detailing is nicer, and it's just, a slightly nicer bag and I'm really pleased and it is this one this is the remedy bag in black leather black grainy Italian leather internet tells me and it is from their spring summer 2020 collection and I picked it up and I am so pleased let me first show you a bit of a view up close you can really see the sort of doctor detailing here the back says Kate Spade, it's embossed in the leather. Here you have a sort of lock. It doesn't work, but it's super cute. It also has little feet, which helps protect the bag. And then you open it like this, twist the lock, then lift this flap. I feel like such a luxury <laughs> handbag unboxer. And that was actually nice to see. So in the outlet, there were some scratches here because people had just popped their hands there. What you're supposed to do is grab this, open the bag. So this is the inside. There are some card slots here. The other side does not have any card slots. And then you can snap it close like this. And that's a bit, I still need to, yep like this. The bag also comes with an adjustable long strap that you can sort of click on right here and then wear it either as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. You probably want to know how much this bag was. I think this bag originally retails for about £350, maybe close to 300 but that is sort of what I gathered from the internet. While I think this bag came down from Birmingham, it was now in the Canuck outlet store and it was actually in the clearance section where it was marked down to about £200, £199. When they scanned it, it was actually 169, so 169 pounds. But there was a friends and family sale going on in the whole outlet center. And at Kate Spade, that meant that it actually was marked down 20% more. So I picked this up for about 135, 135 pounds. And I'm really happy with that. That's about 170 euros, which in a way is still quite a lot for a bag. But as it's a boutique bag, it's by Kate Spade. It's cute and black. It fits my phone. And I had already been looking at this specific model for a while. I thought... Yeah, this is going to be a fun bag to add to my collection. And of course, my cute handbag. Ooh, excited. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs>
and that is it that is everything that i picked up in the uk well besides the very yummy coronation chicken from the meal deal would recommend so i think it's time for me now to finish unpacking give everything its home set up of this cutie because yes it's coming out with me tomorrow do stay tuned for the vlog videos that are still coming and in the meantime i would really appreciate it if you would like this video subscribe to my channel and maybe come over to instagram where i share more of my daily life see you next time in my next video bye bye